So this is the first video of the decor series I'm going to do on my home, on my new kingdom. And I'm going to share with you the experiments, the things I'm going to do. One of the limits I have is I want to do a maximum of things in paper. For the decor, for I want to do some hunter face, things like that, but also some moldings, imitating things in wood or uh, things like that. Really some all, all the decorative parts. Um, of the kingdom so I will try to bring you with me and share with you what I'm doing and I hope my goal is to have finished by the end of September most of the main decor um, which uh, will include the living room, main room, the studio and the kitchen and maybe a few things in the bedroom but the kitchen is also going to be a big um, playground because there are a lot of things which I could do I would like to do a tree or something in paper a lot of crazy things that I will uh, finish my project of this decor of this kingdom in September by the kitchen. So it's, I'm not going to start here because it's a lot of work and I'm also working on all my own, uh, of course, art projects, my workshops, the two workshops which are coming at the end of July, all that. So I will go slowly uh, and uh, do that little by little. And uh, I will share with you along the way some tutorials, some things you might use as well in your own little kingdoms. And here it's super funny, there is this thing under the fireplace. Well, I'm not going to use it because it's a bit dangerous in a building, you, you can't use it this way. But uh, it's quite nice to have it as it was before in the past. They used to have their, their wood in the, in the cellar. And yes, if I want, I could maybe add a, a fake one with the electrical light, something. Maybe I will try to find that. But I love the sound. <laughs> Just like in any good doll house, you need a real fireplace. So this is the main room, the paper I chose for the main room. I'm really, really happy with the, the pattern. I will also link under each video if I use something from a website you could use too. It's not any promotion or anything like that, but it's just something maybe you would like to know. So I think it was a, I think it was a Canadian paper, this one. And uh, yes, and it has a very big pattern and I think it really imitates my dollhouses, so I was very, very pleased. And I show you the wallpaper closer so you can see it. It wasn't a very expensive wallpaper, it's not something crazy crazy. I think it's not the sort of thing you would find in a, the, your, the local super, uh, paper supermarket maybe, but it's, uh, I found it online and I really like it. You have this golden thing, it depends where you look at, but it can be golden or a little silver. It's really, really nice. And I had to cover my walls before. They were not really nice. There was an ugly thing under it. So this uh, pattern looks, I think it looks great here. So here on this side, um, on this side, I'm going to do um, a trophy, probably a hair, a white, a white rabbit there, and a unicorn, or I don't know what, with a sort of, um, with a sort of molding things in paper above, above each doors. I think it will be really nice. I will have my painting on this side, which will be with the castle imitating the cover of the Grimm's book. And a mirror, which I will buy, maybe not too crazy, quite plain, but I want to do something around it. I would like to have a color or, and a technique, of, so the paper will be the link, obviously, of every piece of the decor here. The decor I added here is just something I put there. I'm still, I still have cardboards to, to empty. It's not really, it was just something I put there. I'm going to do something really special for this fireplace, but I don't know what yet. So I just added my boat and my bear here waiting uh, for a better fate maybe 
And here, I want to do something above all my doors. So probably a trophy or a frame. I also wanted to do maybe a sort of big frame imitating my uh, things I saw on my Versailles books. I want to for sure to do something really crazy above each door because the ceiling are pretty high so I think it's really nice to take advantage of that. It's about 3 meters and 10 centimeters high. It could be even higher here, it's not the highest of the highest but it's quite good, it's decent. It's a decent height so I want to do something there and I will keep you updated there. I'm going to do the same in my studio, a big, I think a big, probably a big frame with a painting. Another thing I want to have is a big character here on this side, on each side of each window holding a, some curtains. I don't have the curtains yet. I don't know which color I'm going to choose here because I want to have something different than this blue. So maybe a dark, dark red or um, pink or I don't know, but I don't want to have something blue or white. I want something which would be very different as I like to do in my dollhouses. I would never choose a white or something like that because it's going to be more uh, bold than that. And um, here I want to have a big character so it's also going to match the next workshop because I'm going to have a big, a big standing character at least one meter high probably more holding some curtains on, on each side and also looking at the window because the thing is people are watching at the window anyway people who walk on the street so I have put this curtain here, here for the moment I'm not sure if they're going to stay here probably going to change them later but they just hide me a bit especially when I'm filming and I thought if they are watching I'm going to give them very good reason to watch and to look at the I'm not I'm not on the first floor I'm not a really uh, uh, on the street at once but they there I have a balcony and people I don't know they are attracted to look at uh, places with balconies so I'm going to do a collection of um, of characters it's also because I have a client friend in Paris who has a, a first floor I think apartment and she has a beautiful collection of nutcrackers and there are all the nutcrackers are watching by the window and people are watching the nutcrackers uh, through the window when they walk in the street and I love this idea so uh, I thought I think it's quite nice I will put them just I will have maybe some curtains behind the characters on the window I don't know yet but I want to have something crazy funny also on this side I will have another two other ones watching I don't even have curtains here it's still the beginning I didn't uh, find them yet but I really want to have uh, yes two big characters the first time I will have big characters here so this is another project there are a lot of projects projects and you can see I have a kind of tree here small tree and he doesn't like the sun here there are a lot of sun he was used to shadow and he starts to turn brown and here I have some of my lamps so I'm going to change all the colors and all the lamps this one I will keep it but the others this one is pretty damaged and the others are totally broken so I think I'm going to change the colors I, I did that rather quickly um, in my previous kingdom but I want to change it because here blue I don't want I, I don't think I want to keep blue for this room because I have already enough blue and I want to do some uh, painted lampshades uh, painting on my paper maybe mulberry maybe craft paper maybe both I don't know but I'm going to try to I wanted to do that for a very very long time just yeah, just, just for me <laughs> I wouldn't like to sell them but just for the, my own place and uh, I'm going to share that with you later in July maybe early August I'm going to, to do some lampshade different sorts with different patterns different things like that which would uh, match my paper decor well on each door I want also to do something they are white at this stage I want to paint the corner on the color which would match the the painting the wallpapers and also I would like to add some molding or something on the center maybe some painting I'm not really sure there but I want for sure to do something on each part of the door here the doors were painted and it was they let this part white so I, know, I really like it too I don't know so if it's going to be just the edges or like in my Marie Antoinette book a painting like that my thing will be only fairy tales but I want maybe to paint a little something on the doors I don't know I quite like that too on the panels too so one thing which is really certain is I will have fairy tale things everywhere. So as I say, I love this cover. I will have a castle somewhere, maybe painting on the doors, maybe sculpted. I will have a reminder of all the big fairy tales. So I will have a reminder of a wolf, 
wet little red riding hood, Cinderella. I want to have them somewhere, maybe on each door of the cupboards, on little details. I don't know, I really want to have that and to have the same colors also. And uh, at, the at the center, at the top of the fireplace also. So for sure I will have all my favorite fairy tales uh, appearing somewhere in this room. So we'll see how it works. Uh, maybe donkey skin, maybe yeah, Cinderella, maybe Sleeping Beauty. So if you also have some deco projects in paper, in papier mâché, whatever they are, or in totally different techniques, uh, please share them below. I would be really happy to see that I'm not on my own during that this summer. I would love to know. I think summer is just a really nice creative season. There was Le Baron, who is someone who comments uh, on a regular basis on my blog, and he just said that the summer is such the best creative season because you can. I think it's really true. He was really a nice thing about that, and I, I also believe that. I think summer is just the most creative season. I, I don't really want to go in holidays in summer. People really love to go in the holidays, vacations, things like that, and to relax. And just for me, it's just sort of a best moment to create, to work, and to imagine all sort of things and to dream and to enjoy, to enjoy long days. So we will try to keep ourselves uncomfortable. Let me know where you're at, where you want to be at the, uh, at the end of the summer. And I will share with you, of course, uh, all along these weeks, what I have accomplished. I will try to have these deco videos every weekend. We will see where we go. I, I want to promise that, but sometimes I just fall off the wagon and I don't have them ready. And also because July I'm going to finish my film and to prepare my two upcoming workshops so I'm not really sure if I will be able to do that. I will cross my fingers and I hope I will and I will see where we are at the end of, um, of September. If you want to dive into my techniques, if you want to become an apprentice magician and to learn some, more, some paper techniques, please join my workshops. You can learn everything you want to learn about it on my website merveilleenpapier.com you will see some, um, some stories of apprentice magicians, their experiences, what they have done, their photos. It's really really nice, we have a lot of things coming, also some Skype every month. The next one is coming at the end, at the middle of July, something like that, so you can check that out if you are an apprentice magician and don't, don't want to miss that. And uh, otherwise, yes, just uh, have a look and you can visit my website and see if you have something you might be interested in. Uh, in the meantime, I invite you to subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss the next videos. And I will see you very soon on the blog and also in my next videos over here. Have a very nice weekend and I see you soon. Bye.